Let's take a question. Fill in the blanks and rewrite the sentence. First one, the amount of water vapor in air is determined in terms of its dash. Second one, if objects of equal masses are given heat, their final temperature will be different. This is due to difference in their dash. The third one, during transformation of liquid phase to solid phase, the latent heat is dash. Okay, so we have three sentences, okay, and we have to fill in the blanks, okay? So what we'll do is we'll take each of those sentences first separately and I'm going to make this a little fun okay I'll tell you so this is a question the amount of water vapor in air is determined in terms of its dash what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you a few options okay uh, imagine this like an MCQ um, instead of directly giving you what the answer could be and instead of directly discussing the topic um, I thought maybe you could learn how to choose the correct one. Sometimes you might have different words in your mind for the answer, but you won't know which one would be the right one. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a few words that could possibly be the answer for dash over here. And I'll give you a few seconds time. If you want, you can even pause the video after I've given the options. Okay, and then we'll fill it up. Okay, so the amount of water vapor in air is determined in terms of what? Is it density, moisture, or absolute humidity? It can't be density, right? Because the density is basically the total capacity that is there in a said volume correct the number of molecules would indicate density moisture is water vapor in air but if you look at the question carefully they're talking about the amount of water vapor and they've asked you to determine it in terms of a word in terms of when they say things like that they're talking about a proper definition so out of the three, the proper definition here is absolute humidity. Okay. And they've said the amount of water, right? That word is there, amount. So they're being very specific. So when, the minute you have specific words like this, you know it is absolute humidity. Okay. So the answer is the amount of water vapor in air is determined in terms of its absolute humidity humidity okay so let's look at the next question if objects of equal masses are given equal heat their final temperature will be different this is due to difference in their dash objects of equal masses are taken and equal heat is provided to all of them and it is seen that their final temperature is different that means the heat, even though it was given the same, each of their capacity to hold on to it was different, right? So if their capacity to hold on to it was different, what term am I talking about? Am I talking about the size or color or am I talking about heat capacity? You're right. It is heat capacity so let's fill it up if objects of equal masses are given equal heat their final temperature will be different this is due to difference in their different heat capacities okay let's go to the next one during transformation of liquid phase to solid phase the latent heat is dash the options are latent heat of heat, latent heat of fusion, latent heat of boil. We're talking about liquid phase to solid phase. Okay, so imagine we take a liquid and we're converting it into solid phase. So if we take water in its liquid phase, to convert it into a solid phase, I need to freeze it, right? So when I'm freezing it, what happens? I'm bringing the loose molecules together 
right if i'm bringing the loose molecules together from solid to liquid it becomes tightly packed we have learned that we will be able to transform a solid to liquid that is from ice to water we simply have to liberate the solid molecules to liquid molecules and to do that we found that the heat used up was latent heat of fusion even though over here we are talking about liquid to solid phase okay we know that the amount of energy that is required from liquid to solid or solid to liquid will be the same amount of energy is still the same right therefore our option is latent heat of fusion okay so let's put that in the answer during transformation of liquid to solid phase the latent heat is latent heat of fusion okay so we've completed all of the statements